Hi, and welcome to our new video series where we teach you how to get started developing using SWIM. If you're unfamiliar with SWIM, be sure to check out our intro to the SWIM architecture video done by our founder and chief architect, Chris Sachs. There's a link in the description. That will give you a great overview of SWIM, of web agents, and how they are different and how they can change the way you deal with data. In this short video series, we will be using our SWIM plant monitor demo as a basis for learning the ins and outs of how to develop a SWIM application, how to work with SWIM web agents, and how to work with a SWIM UI toolkit. Before we get started, let's talk about environments. During these videos, I'll be running Windows 10 and using the Windows subsystem from Linux to handle everything on the command line. You're free to use Windows command line, just be aware that the syntax may be different from what you see in this video. Swim itself and all the code we show is platform agnostic. If you are on Windows and you haven't tried WSL yet, I highly recommend it as it normalizes your development environment so you can use all the same scripts and the commands that the folks in Macs and Windows do. I'll be using Visual Studio Code for all my coding, however you're free to use any IDE you're comfortable with. There's zero dependency here on IDE. For this demo, you will need to have Java 9 or greater, Node 12 or greater, and Git installed. If you don't have those installed, take a moment now and go grab them. Cool, with that out of the way, let's download some code. From the command line, enter git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash swimos slash plant dash monitor dot git. This will pull down the full source code for our project. Uh, you can also find a link to this down in the description, so don't worry if you mess out here. Now, let's take a look at what was downloaded and start getting familiar with the folder structure. So, here you see a readme file, which I highly recommend reading. A Java folder, a published scripts, a swim plant service file, and a UI folder. We really just want to focus on the Java and the UI folders for right now. The other stuff is just for running this application as a service in a Unix environment, and we'll get to that later on in the video, video series. The Java folder is where our swim application lives, and the UI folder is for our UI. Let's quickly take a look at our UI folder. In this demo, we also use Swim as our web server, and Swim will use this UI folder as the web root. By default, Swim will serve out on port 9001, but this can be easily configured later on. We'll show you how to do that later on in the videos. For now, just remember, this is our web root. Okay, cool. Let's fire up an our application, and let's CD over into our Java directory. Here we have our application root. Our Swim application is written in Java, and during development, we use Gradle to build and run the application. To simplify things, we use the Gradle wrapper to ensure that Gradle is set up and runs correctly. To run the application, simply type dot dash Gradle W run. If this is your first time Gradle is run, it will download and install itself and then build and run the application. Once the build is complete, you should see something like this, where it says 80% executing. This means our app is running and ready to go. From here, open your browser and go to 127.0.0.1, port 9.0.0.1, and you should see the UI. Awesome, so now we have a UI, but it looks a little bit sad and empty because there's no data yet. So let's fix that. Open up a new tab, and we'll go to our plant simulator page. Go to http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 9.0.0.1 slash sim.html. Now you should see a cute little plant with a random name that's been generated for it. Select some random values and then click Create Plant and you'll see your new plant show up in the list over to the left. Okay, let's go back to our main page and you'll see our new plant has appeared in the list. Click it and the UI should spring to life. Awesome, so now we have our plant monitor demo up and running. Take a few minutes to play with the UI, create a few plants, maybe poke at the code a bit, and when you're ready, our next video will do a deep dive into the Java side of things and show you just how all of this works. Until then, thanks for watching. If you need help or get stuck, please feel free to reach out and ask us. We're here for help. We will put the links in the description to all the ways you can reach out, as well as our developer resources. If you build something cool, please be sure to share it with us, and until then, we'll see you next time.